It's Wednesday, October 6th, and today we at Descript are here to share our biggest product update of the year. This is a new experiment in shipping features for us where instead of randomly shipping things whenever, we're going to try non-randomly shipping bigger groups of things on a schedule every three months or so. So we're calling this release season one. Whether you're using Descript for podcasting, screen recording, video editing, or simply transcription, we've got something exciting for everyone in this release. Here's what's new. First, for most people, even if you shell out for a fancy mic, it's really hard to get your recordings to sound good. Not everyone has a professional sound booth or even a closet they can fit in. That's why we built Studio Sound. It's Descript's AI-based take on noise reduction, but it's a whole lot more than that. Removing echo, adding EQ, and just generally taking mediocre recordings and making them sound like they were recorded in a studio. We released it in beta last month and many people were surprised by how good it is. Even we were surprised. Today, Studio Sound is graduating from beta and we're adding a few handy improvements. First, you can turn it on as a default setting for any new recording, both in the editor and in Descript screen recorder. Second, it's way easier to use. You can find it in the effects menu of the composition inspector. Finally, we added an intensity dial so you can fine tune the strength of the effect. If you struggle with audio quality, Studio Sound alone is enough of a reason to use Descript. So we hope you'll check it out. Next, Studio Sound is great, but sometimes you need other effects. As of today, Descript has a full effects suite. Over a dozen effects in the app right now, and a handful more coming over the next few weeks. Audio tuning effects like parametric EQ, repair effects like a de -esser or noise gate, or creative effects like a reverb, distortion, or flanger. For many of you who were looking for Descript to provide the level of tuning found in conventional audio editors, effects were the biggest missing link. But no longer. Add effects from the Composition Inspector. Use our handy presets or get dirty with all of these things. And coming in a few weeks, you'll be able to decide whether you want effects to be applied to an entire track or just specific clips. Third, we have big overdub news. If you haven't tried overdub yet, it's a magical feature that lets you convert the words you type into audio that sounds just like you. I use it in videos like this to make word level edits to my recordings. It's just so much easier than re-recording. Overdub was already the most realistic voice cloning service out there, but today we're releasing our biggest improvement to voice quality ever, eliminating a kind of wobbliness issue that's affected many voices since launch. Here's a before and after comparison. Did you know he is advertising his ham radio equipment for sale this weekend? It cost us $100,000 and 30 days lost time to fix them. Did you know he is advertising his ham radio equipment for sale this weekend? It cost us $100,000 and 30 days lost time to fix them. We've also made it way easier to create your overdub voice. Before, we made you read a 10, 20, 30 minute script to train your voice. Now you can use any pre-existing recording that you have. You can even just use a recording that you made in Descript and we can use that to train your overdub voice. The fourth exciting thing is really a bunch of things. Stuff we've done to make the editor nicer to use. You might have noticed in some of the earlier clips, but we've redesigned our inspector. The knobs and fields are way nicer. We've exposed some new properties. And we've got a whole new inspector just for transitions. So you can add or adjust fades and dissolves without needing to move your mouse and eyes all the way down to the timeline. And look at this neat mini map for navigating between the properties of a clip and its transitions. Speaking of not touching the timeline, you can also now do that when you are changing the length of clips. You can see that we're trying to make it easier to do more things directly from the script, but the timeline can be great too, so we've made some improvements there as well. Drag and drop works a lot better, pin offset is less weird, and you can copy and paste attributes from one clip to another. Really handy for workflows where you find yourself adjusting a clip's position and scale on a regular basis. Next big thing, sharing with Descript is now really, really fast. When you're making a screen or webcam recording, we now start uploading at the same time that you're recording so that the video is ready to share pretty much as soon as you're done. Also, exporting files is way, way faster. Like you can export a heavily edited 30 minute video and it'll be ready in a few minutes. With this release, Descript is going from having perhaps the slowest export speeds in the industry to now having the fastest by far. Keep an eye out for these speed changes they'll be rolling out over the next couple of weeks. You'll know they're released when you export something and it's fast. Finally, we'll end with something really cool. We've added an interactive searchable transcript to our embeddable player. 
So now you can use the script to navigate and search video using any number of the wonderful service receptacles of our embeddable player, which now includes Slack. That's right, we've partnered with Slack so our videos will play in line. We're also releasing a Slack app so you can get notifications in Slack. This transcript drawer is so cool, whether you're just using it to skim a bug report or power through a presentation or find a specific bit of an instructional video, for us at least it's changed the way that we watch videos. That's the end, so many neat features. We'll see you in about three months for season two, which we're building right now and has a bunch of video editing stuff.